Okay, so uh, you happen to be learning about quadratic yep. polynomials right now in your algebra class and uh, your algebra studies, I mean. I'm going to ask you to look at this polynomial n squared plus n plus 41 for n equals 0, 1, 2, 3. Da, da, okay. So, n can... n can be 0, it can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4. So any non-negative integer? Yeah. All right, cool. Now, this seems to produce a lot of prime numbers. So plug in n equals 0, what do you get? Um, n equals 0, so you get 0, 0, 41, you get 41. Okay. Let's let me write that there. 0 dash 41. Uh, 1, you get 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 41 is 43. Okay. 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 41 is 47. 3, 9 plus 3 is 12. And then so that'd be 53, which I believe is prime. Okay. Um, just to do one more. 4, 16, 20, so that'd be 61. All right, is that prime? Uh, that is not prime, I don't. Yeah, not prime. Okay, what, what divides into 61? Um, well, 2 doesn't, 3 doesn't, 5 doesn't, um... 7 doesn't, that's it. So it is prime. Okay, it is prime. Yep. Um, um, okay. <laughs> so this seems to produce uh, a lot of prime numbers, kind of uh, surprisingly, actually. Yep. This is a famous polynomial. <laughs> so here's a challenge. Do you think this always produces prime numbers for any n you put in? Hmm, well, it seems to be working so far, but I'm, um, well, if, if you somehow got maybe an even number, um, with, so if you had n squared plus n, that's always going to be even number, because you, if you have an even number as n, you get n squared is going to be even plus another even number. Okay. It's going to be even. Odd number, you get odd number squared is odd plus an odd number, that's even. So you're always going to get an odd number from this. Oh, okay, good. Good. <laughs> that's a great reason. Always, you're always going to get an odd number. Um, so it looks like it's still holding true. Hmm. Sure. I don't see any proof for it. I don't think. Okay. But yeah, I think it. I think it will. Just as a conjecture. Just as a conjecture. Okay. Um, there's actually a, a, a relatively easy number to put in that that doesn't uh, work. That uh, well, even though it's hard to multiply it all out, it actually might be a good one to take a look at. Can you think of an integer maybe that's worth checking? Hmm. Hmm. 41 maybe? Okay, why? Yeah. Why might 41 be interesting to check? Well, 41 is, you're going to have multiples of 41 actually, so n squared is 41 times 41, n is 41, and 41, so this is going to be 41 times 43. Okay. Um, and these are primes we found before, and whatever this is, so this is not going to be prime. Aha! Uh -huh. So when we plug in 41, even though we don't really know what 41 squared times 41, sorry, 41 mm -hmm. squared plus 41 plus, plus 41. 41, we don't really know what that number is, except that we do know that it's... It's not going to be prime. It's not going to be prime. Yeah, but this is an amazing... 
uh, surprise. It does produce lots of primes. I, I didn't check. I probably should have. I think actually that's the first one hmm. that's not prime. Cool. That might not be true though. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so we are going to um, go look at uh, a couple more very neat surprises, kind of like this polynomial, that, okay. that have to do with primes. All right? All right.